Johnny. Nice seeing you. Nice see you. For their centennial year, the Bruins will be saluting different eras of their history at select home games. And next up, it's the legendary Big Bad Bruins of the 1970s. The Jacobs family is providing today's transportation to Boston for three players from that time. Don Ory, Jerry Cheevers, and number four, Bobby Orr. Oh, I grabbed all these. These are, these are hilarious. This is New Year's Eve. Oh no, the best one here. We can, we, hey. And any of the folders you want, just take them, because you'll want some of these. I'm just going to put them out and let the guys look at them. They're hilarious. Back, back in the day. All our mass grade parties, geez. New Year's Eve when you were away. You know, you remember I, I don't want to talk about it. I remember I, I, one New Year's Eve, I was, I was 10 different people. <laughs> you know what? We always dress pretty well. <laughs> look at the young Donnie Ori, look at this one. The chubby oh, Donnie Ori. Hey, Bobby, who's chubby? Hey, oh, geez. Every picture, Don. Phil is in, Haji's standing beside him. <laughs> well, hey, why am I? I've, I've seen these, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at Ace. Oh, Ace is in a lot of them. He's funny. I mean, he's in, I, I've said us a lot of the shots to Kathy already. I had so much fun going through these. I had so much fun going through these. As the Bruins prep for the Canadians, they get a visitor, Blake McCaughey from Belfast, Northern Ireland. He has battled through multiple health problems, but is a huge hockey fan. His home team, the Belfast Giants, helped grant Blake's wish to visit Boston and meet his favorite player, Charlie McAvoy. Hey guys, just one second. I want you guys to meet Blake. Hey, Blake's come all the way from Belfast, Ireland. All right. Favorite team's the Bruins. It's an optional skate for the boys today. And as the players take the ice, the 70s Bruins alumni are in the house and warming up for their pregame appearance. In the locker room, Linus Olmark is definitely embracing the moment. This is the Gary Cheevers one, huh? Came out great. Lots of scarves. Gonna put some more scarves in it for today's practice, I feel like. Cheesy, young Cheesy. It's a new rap name. That would actually be a pretty sick rap thing. How are you? <laughs> weaky, weaky. Put your eights on this guy, would ya? That's my son, yeah. Take the silver. Hey, look. Look at this one. Boston versus Montreal tonight, and the big bad Bruins are here. But before they're honored, Linus Olmark gets a chance to show off his version of Jerry Cheever's iconic goalie mask to the man himself, as well as fellow goaltending legend Eddie Johnston. Fellas. All right. Hey. Ooh, look at this. So I'd like you to sign these, yep. or this one, yep. if you don't mind. No. 
Is that in here? You sign there. I'll, I'll, we'll figure it out. Perfect. You and your partner are like Eddie and I when we played. The guy that played didn't say much, and the other guy was yapping all the time. So that does it work the same way for you guys? Well, we try to do the opposite. So no. the guy that's not playing is going to yap a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what we always do. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Hopefully, Good we can luck. get a raise a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of money towards charity together with the foundation. Oh, that's I great. think this is going to help it a lot. So Good. I really appreciate it. It's a great job you did. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ice members of the 1970 and 1972 Stanley Cup champion, Austin. Crazy, it's huge I from down say, here, huh? Yeah. Up there it looks so much smaller. Seriously, it's not long enough. This one might be bigger, I think. It's bigger. It's I don't know, I don't know. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna guess. You yeah. think this one is bigger? It can be bigger than the other cups. You know? It's hard. We gotta guess. I'm, I'm saying it. Great shift, Bob. Wow, great job. Yeah, you never see that, you know, it's good play. Yeah, it's great. Number keep playing north there. We got a lot of jump, they don't. Yeah. Oh, great breakout twice, boys. Oh. Not right away, maybe move it around. I give it to him, back to me, down to you. Yeah. 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 Let's go! We got one, boys! Come on, boys, they need a kill here, need a kill here! Let's go! Kill and back to work, come on, PK! Ah, uh, two minutes rest for me, baby. Hey, Linus. Couple minutes rest for me. Let the PK do the work, huh? All right, go, boys. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That's your shot. Yeah. That's his shot. Hey, that's your shot, huh? Five all, I like it. Three assists for David Pasternak and a great all-around effort for the black and gold as they honor their big bad forefathers with a satisfying 5-2 win over the Canadians. Great job, boys. That's good. Great job, babe. Right, Patsy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The next morning at Warrior Ice Arena, there is extra excitement around the building as the Bruins get ready for a two-game Florida road swing because the team has arranged for the players to be joined by their fathers for the duration of the trip. We're getting ready for practice. Got to keep the work going. These guys owe us about two or three or more of these for all the time we brought them to the, you know, when we, took them away, when we took them away for trips and everything when they were kids and you know all the money we spent on them for food and uh, going to the arcades and the malls and stuff like that so they uh, they owe us they, uh, two, or three, two or three two or three more of these father's trips and, and, and it's paid the debt is paid how are you good to see you again yeah. huh yeah. Yeah. we're gonna have some fun here yeah. hey Brandon we yeah. gotta sit with the townies I, I want to thank you guys. This is a great thing that the Bruins do, and I know a lot of teams do it in the NHL, but I want to thank you because it's a pleasure to work with your sons. They're 
great kids. We have a great culture here, and we win a lot of hockey games because they want to get better. And they want to get better because they were raised right. And that's because of you guys. So thanks. All right, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Boston Bruins and their dads are off to Tampa Bay, Florida to start what is sure to be a memorable two-game road trip. Hey, yo, camping? He's hey, going up yeah. Everest right now. Let's go. game day in Tampa, but long before puck drop, the fathers joined their sons at the rink for some pre-game video work in the locker room. All right, review of last game here, okay? Some things that we can continue to implement in the growth of our game here, okay? It's a great job here by the D-man, having that good lateral gap together, squeezing the middle. Now we go, last clip here, one three one again. Charlie does a great job of puck protection. Tax middle, kicks it out. And look at it. <laughs> Was he <even> open? <laughs> All right, please go. Whenever the Bruins play in Florida, there is always a great turnout from the black and gold faithful. But tonight, no one will be cheering harder for the boys than their longtime number one fans. Crazy, huh? Let's go My stick was tied up. I'm like, hey, hey, I'm mic'd up here. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna come, bro. It's gonna come. We're looking good, buddy. We're looking good. <laughs> Another tight Bruins game, eh? Another tight Bruins game. This game surges back and forth during the third period, but there will be no happy ending for the Bruins or their dads as the Lightning tie it up late, then win it in overtime. Dad's trip rolls on with a father-son bonding excursion, Florida style. It's an airboat tour through the Everglades, looking for some native wildlife. Everybody got air flights? Oh yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks, Linus. Thanks, Leader. Forgot about that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
there on the shore, right on the bank. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. black right there. Yep. Cool. This is a little bit on the smaller side. Uh, he's only like maybe five feet on a good day, which is still an adult for a gator. You just have to hit like that five foot range. During the what day, do they eat? Uh, so gators are lazy animals, so they prefer going after like easy, small, bite-sized meals. So they mainly eat like fish, small birds, turtles, as well as other alligators too. They are cannibals. They do eat the small ones. Final night of the dad's trip, it's the Bruins against the Florida Panthers. And after dropping game one in Tampa, everyone is looking to end the road trip on a positive note. All right, boys, you know, I, I've been watching you guys hang out with your dads, and I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit jealous, you know? My dad passed away nine years ago, and what an opportunity for you guys, you know? And whether your dad's in heaven, right? Linus? Or whether he's here with us, or louts, whether he's watching at home, on your sofa, they gave us the names we wear on the back, and they're proud of you guys, as they should be, right? Now we're all proud to wear that B in front of us. What my dad expected was second and third effort every night. Let's have second and third effort tonight. See where we are at the end of sixty. All right, starters, Forby, you and Chatty. We got Zach's line. Linus, you're next. <laughs> Upstairs in their suite, the dads are pumped up by a visit from Bobby Orr, which is especially cool for Matt Grizzlick's dad, John, a lifelong Bruins fan and a longtime member of the TD Garden Bull Gang. Hey son, you know, I think what you guys did uh, in the Bruins, you brought youth into the game. Because before that, I don't know if you went, to, when you went to the games, it was like a suit coat and tie. It was uh, the, the mothers and fathers. It was a date night for them. Uh, and uh, the kids never went to the games. And then when you guys came, and all of a sudden you had the long hair, then the girls came and watched you guys, and the boys chased the girls, you know, and then Sam, you know, and then you guys wrote the open, yeah. Watch what you say, I'm Mike too, I got a mic on. Do you? Yeah, watch what you say. Uh, and, uh, so I don't want to have a conversation, it's going to go beep, 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 beep. They'll think a truck's backing up or something. Yeah, exactly. So many swears. It should be good though, huh? Off, man. Always at everyone. Never your fault, eh? Never your fault. Right now. Right now. Hey! Hey! You idiot. Let him go. Let him go. Number in your. Wait, these are like two playoff games. Yeah. I know, right? A lot of intensity here for a. Uh, uh, regular season games. I know. Come on, boys. Turn it up a notch here. Let's go. We got better. Our turn to push now. Let's go. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Wow. wow. Hey, I know you taught him that one. Chuck. Chuck, I know you taught him. I know you taught him that one. Uh, hey. Whoever gets the first goal buys all the beers, right? <laughs> dads are all celebrities, all the dads. Unbelievable. We have to get our own reality show or something, something, huh? Yeah, right? Bruins dads. What do you think? Come on, Jake. <laughs> 27 big saves from Linus Allmark and a fantastic team effort gives Boston the 3-1 win over Florida and caps off this meaningful road trip for the Bruins and their dads on a high note. Good job, big boy. How's the game, Lily? Good job, bro. Way to keep us in it, bro. Good win. What? I don't like 
go. Okay. Hey, for us. Hey, Jake. Ah, got her done. Good work, fellas. Good job. Camera, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Camera's still falling, Mr. Grizz around, huh? <laughs> MVP, right? MVP. MVP, Grizz. <laughs> MVP. <laughs> so I told Brent, I'm like, I'm hanging this jersey up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I am, I'm like, well, it's a father's trip, or this guy Bobby or the jersey, so this one's going to my office. So, yeah, well, thank you again for the trip. Yeah, of course. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much.